So I wonder if I'm falling into this trap of feeling this pressure to make videos, but I am working on the next one and I thought that while we wait for that one, I wanted to show you something very cool that I discovered this week. So you've done a lot of hard work to get your notes nicely formatted in, um, in LogSeq and then you realize that you have to actually go and export your notes or process your notes into some sort of Word document that is easily shareable and you think oh dear it's going to be a nightmare and i'm going to have to redo all the formatting because markdown is a nightmare i'd like to tell you that that is not the case it's actually super easy to convert your markdown files into a word document part of the piece that you will need is pandoc so if i go here to pandoc.org so pandoc.org is this universal document converter so you can just download pandoc.org and it doesn't actually open like you know an icon on your computer or whatever it's just a program that's working on from your terminal so i'm, I'm going to get into that just now but what i'm going to do is use this example of my previous video outline and convert that to a, a word document so that you can see what i need to do is go to my logseq pages and the way that i do that is i go to where my notes are locally stored and I then go to pages and I need to find that page, which is Pandora. Oh, there we go. Um, opening Pandora slipbox. And I'm just going to copy this page and paste it on my desktop. Okay. So I'm just also going to rename it for uh, simplicity's sake to make it very easy to change and I'm just going to name that Zettelkasten1 so that is now my markdown file if I open that in you know notepad plus uh, plus it looks funky and I would, it would require a lot of formatting in order to export it what I can do is use pandoc from the terminals. So open your command prompt and I just use the windows key type CMD and it opens up. So that opens up there. So this is my command prompt and I just need to change my directory to look at my desktop because that's where I've pasted the file. You could do this from the, the source, but I just try to make this as simple as possible because I only have to do it once and it worked like a charm, so hopefully it can simplify someone else's life. So I'm just going to say CD to desktop, and that changes directory to desktop. And then if you go to pandoc, so pandoc.org, and you just go demos, examples, and then I just search for docx. There we go. I will literally take this right here. And then I will go to my command prompt and paste that. And then I will just change the name here. So the file name is zettelkasten.1.md. And the output is zettel word. says could not fetch resource oh uh, that's just because i had a picture in there so it doesn't work for pictures but it should work for everything else let's go back to my desktop and i'm just going to drag it across here let me change my view and there we go so you can see that my full structure and all my bolding and everything has come in here there's the image that didn't come through but that's not the end of the world so yeah, I think the one thing which I can see is like, don't, if you have some things which are collapsed, uncollapse them because otherwise it will bring this collapsed uh, equals true there. But apart from that, it works like an absolute charm. And then you can just send this document off. I really hope that makes someone's life just a little bit easier in the time to come. So if you're waiting for a longer video, my next video is out next week. So I will hopefully see you then. Cheers.